All right, guys, before we start this video, I want to make sure you guys are smashing that like button and subscribing. More than half of you guys are not subscribed, and I know a lot of you guys could easily help us out by smashing that like button and leaving a comment below with what you want to see in their next video or a compliment on the video itself. Those always help a lot and help the algorithm. And make sure to check out the Shopify in the description. We have t-shirts to support us, hoodies, and play mats. They are some sick designs, and if you guys want anything to be added, to our portfolio make sure to leave those comments below as well you can always message me and email me as well at airfaregaming at gmail.com me and my partner jordan can always uh, use that feedback it helps us out in the long run also for my dbs people and my Yu-Gi-Oh people we have all types of profiles coming so make sure to uh, stay tuned and turn the notification button on it helps out a lot because i want you guys to stay tuned for the new content and let's go ahead and get into the new video All right, guys, back here at uh, Heroes Hideout with the uh, second place deck profile. Pretty cool trophy. And I decided to play a meta deck for a change. You know, you guys that watch my profiles, usually I play like rogue shit, like speed roids, and my fun decks, like, you know, harpies and all that stuff. But I decided to finally pick up a good deck. So we're going to get into it. This, this is sad. Literally, the Brave Engine is so good. And it. I wanted to just play a Rose Dragon combo deck, and it ended up just being, uh, these cards are not good enough without these cards. Yeah. So, because this card is like your best Rose Dragon card, because it's a level 7 for free that is also in a gate. Yeah. And this engine is just insane. Uh, everything in here was perfect. No, no changes to the, the engine at all. Yeah, no, you gotta, it's kind of like mandatory. You gotta keep it like that, bro. The, seven, the Griffin 2 was perfect. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that came up a lot today. Like, Hard drawing is fine. Yeah. <laughs> Three red rows. Yeah. And then the uh, one target, especially from the deck. Uh -huh. And the one target. These cards are insane. And basically it's just turn the Griffin into Baron. And then get a free body and a free another body. So these two become the Vert Anaconda, and if yeah. you have an extender, you can do a little more. And it's, it's really crazy going up for OTKs as well, OTK every time. Then your next main engine is Fusion Destiny, um, and this is literally just, just too good not to play. Like, like these cards may suck the draw, but like even then, you, they draw you two cards the next turn, even if you drew them. So. If, and this is a grindy format. Yeah, very grindy. Your next little tiny engine. I didn't think this would be that necessary, and I heard a lot of people saying it wasn't that good, but there's a few times where this just saved me. Yeah. Because uh, this with the Rose Dragon does become Herald, and that somehow can just save you the game, because you make Herald plus DPE. And then plus, dude. And that's just good enough. And draw two, bro. Like like I said, you faithful. And well, like, you won't get the draw two if you do this into Herald, which is the worst. Yeah. Because the Herald banishes the material. Well, I'm talking about you. You'll draw and then you like, you know. Oh yeah, you yeah, draw. Yeah, yeah. You draw. Then. You draw and then you you'll make it. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes the draw comes up. Sometimes it doesn't. Yeah. Uh, but this is the broken card. Like, yeah, no. Every, and it's crazy. It doesn't seem that broken. But then when you're playing just a bunch of engines, you'll get to see your right, your enchantress. Oh, and then you're like, oh, I already have those. Here's the next piece, and it's over. Yeah. Once you, once you establish the board and grind, it's really hard for your opponent to like combat it. Especially no. if they didn't draw any hand traps. Yeah. One call by Silver Spencer. The targets to send off a riser. Uh, these didn't really come up very often, and they are pretty bad to draw, but you can discard them off of your uh, faithful if you have to, but that doesn't really come up that often. Yeah. There, I did discard a uh, Snow once a couple times. Your hand traps are pretty deep. I got three Ash, two Ogre, two Bell, three Valor, and three Imperm, and two Nib. This is a lot of hand traps in a 44 card deck. Uh, the only difference I see from my list and some of the others, I see people, some people playing DD Crow, uh, some people not playing this card, and then they're playing less hand traps, like maybe cutting one Valor or one Imperm. But there's a few times where I just I had what I needed hand trap wise. Yeah. 44, 44 cards, like I said. To the extra deck, we'll just, this is literally your deck. Like, you make Baron and then it's too good. And this sometimes this actually will just recycle your Griffin on your opponent's turn and you just get a negate. Because, like, if you force out a negate on your turn with this, yeah. you just bring back Griffin. And it just comes, yeah. Another negate. And then your other win con, like DPE, yeah. Like th these are your things. Like, yeah, there are not really that much to explain about those. Like I said, you can meet Harold a few times. I, I think I made a 
months. Last time I played with this, but today it didn't really come up. Yeah. Prime pot target a lot of times. Uh, you're gonna summon Riser, and you can turn Riser into Black Rose in your opponent's turn. It did yeah. not happen the entire tournament today. It didn't come up. Uh, I didn't draw Broken Hands, where that just was always to play. And if your opponent interrupts you at all, then you can't really do this. Yeah. And then this card was good a few times. A few times. And that's your Synchros, and then the rest is Lynx. Yeah. Striker Dragon never came up. Never came literally up. anything else. This is only like there if you draw Rocks Rose, and that's like your only play to make the uh, make Verde Anaconda. Yeah. This just comes up a few times, not very much, but it did come up to win the game. That's good. Uh, one Anaconda, no two. Uh, you don't like the two? The second never came up. I feel you. I hard drew the Fusion Destiny a lot of times, and then just yeah. hide this away. I feel that. One Eerie, this is like the only real spice. Because I play three Charmers. Oh, three. So I play, the, you know, the Water Enchantress is water. So, yeah. And, and Halky Fibrex is also a water. But like, so you can bring back your opponent's Halk. Yeah. And then Halk actually doesn't have any requirement to use as a summon yeah. the extra deck. So if you bring back your opponent's Halk, you can actually summon Shooting Riser with your opponent's Halk. Oh, that's cool. It's really just there. You, it's not really that important. Yeah. Like, there's a few spots in this extra deck that could just be literally anything. Yeah. And Halk, Selene, Axis. This is the most broken thing. If you open, like, a playable hand and no Pot of Prosperity going second and they just die. Yeah. It's like 9,800 damage. Yeah, it's a lot. You're, you're, you're killing someone. And obviously this can summon out the Rose Dragon and or Valor or any of the hand traps uh, that are tuners. Mm -hmm. But the cool thing about this, bringing out the Rose Dragon, it allows you to climb if you draw the Enchantress into this, plus a, like a tuner. Yeah. That's not the Rose Dragon. You get to do your Rose, crack, Rose Dragon combo anyways. 15 side, obviously. The Shooting Riser target, they you swap out for your Token Glitter a lot of times, but... Uh, the Flundery hate. <laughs> yeah, these are just Flundery's hate. Uh, a Dragon Link too, I can probably... There's a few other decks that this card just shuts down entirely. Uh, they just require themselves to be not zombies. They yeah. need to be a machine or... Yeah, the machine deck, the Impenetrate deck. That's like something that's popular now. Yeah. Broken hand Broken. trap. yeah. And then... This is... Bro, if your opponent tries to interrupt your faithful adventure and you go like this, like... It's good, yeah. And then you can just go into Rose Dragon anyways if you didn't have it in your hand. Rose Dragon, it's free, like how, like it's everything. Free cross out, free cosmic, free droplet. Broken so cards. But yeah, broken, they're all broken. This was the MVP. I uh, played against a Floodgate uh, Eldritch deck and I drew two of these, so... I know what you mean. <laughs> Uh, he rivaled me. I'm like, no. No. Uh, he goes, activate uh, trap, trying to bait, bait this. I'm like, no. He goes, I'm not going to respond to that. That's fine. And it goes, and I said, no. <laughs> no. So, yeah, th bro. this card didn't come in at all. I uh, did not uh, have any situations where I'm like, yeah, I really need to see this, or I can't, I, or, you know, I can't play. Yeah. But yeah, solid deck. Uh, played a good deck for a change. And I hope you guys stay and make sure to smash the like button. And we'll see you guys in the next video. You want to see a cool map that we're working on?